Alright, part two of my one tw uh, 115 Ubers, not 125 Ubers. Um, so off screen, I actually got a Hammer of the Tan Judges because, well, we all know that that this game's drop, uh, Uber Charm drop rate is horse shit. Although I actually got it in one run of this place. Not that that really matters because I'll probably end up farming this place anyway. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, let's uh let's just carry on and actually do this. We'll pretend I don't have the We'll pretend I don't have the thing because it doesn't make that much of a difference, honestly. Also, what am I lacking here? That's what I'm lacking. Okay. I'll just uh, move away. Small shield sacred, probably... is it witch drum? Yeah. No, you, my dude, you are not, you are not a paladin, you are a super beast. Go, my man. I know one thing I will definitely farm, and that is Tranathala. Not only for the shitty trophy, but also for um, a perfect innate Ellie damage roll and a perfect max life roll when we get there. I mean, not in this segment, obviously, but just in general. The trophy's not shitty, but the drop rate certainly is. So I will kill, here I will kill either all three, either until I kill all three dudes or until, actually you know what, I should probably just kill all three anyway, because I don't have a perfect, uh, I don't have a literal perfect roll. Okay, you know what? Just go back. Just go back, because there's like 500,000 uh, 500, dudes, so we're not going to bother with that. Anyway, I don't have a perfect roll of my Hammer of the Tan Judges, even though it's just spell focus, which I want to say on this build literally does not matter. Although, it would for Hanabagami, should I choose to make that. Uh, oh, and, uh, Bless Life, of course. What's my Flat Fizz, damn? Okay, 31. That's okay. Does that have increasing returns? Okay, it doesn't seem to actually have increasing returns for that.
Ooh, amulet. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give mine, 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 mine. Uh, hangman. Ooh, oh boy. I don't know what I'll do with myself. Twenty-one. That is the worst roll I can get. Um. Okay. So now let's uh, Tully over here. Yeah, take it. Uh. Hello? No! No! Do not fuck with me! There we go. Just run. And then Tully. Alright. Oh, nice. Got good R got good drop RNG for a charm I already have. Alright, so next up, let's do Yeah, you know yeah, let's do um what's his face. Not Bull Prince Rodeo, um Uh Rathma Square. This is one of I still don't know how I just forget about this one. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Unless, maybe I could just kill Primus quickly! Haha! -ha, spirit Transfer. And that is not the best roll, but I've had worse. I don't know if I'll go for a good roll of that or not, given I'm pumping into Dexterity anyway. All right, let's go. This is what, yeah. Killing Rakanishu for no reason other than because I can and because I feel like it. Also, 9,800 health on Servants of Valor with no additional investment other than Conclave and pumping points into the servants. I'm curious, well. Let's butcher Griswold because we can. And let's butcher the butcher because we can. Bye bye. Eh. Also, I forgot to mention, I got rid of the Torx gift or whatever it is, the the gloves I was using, and I just made myself an honorific. More mode with hit recovery, enhanced defense, total character defense, and flat dexterity. And I socketed with amethysts for more uh more dexterity. And give me that point. So cow level did hurt quite a bit when I went in here off screen trying to find a uh, sacred plated belt, but that was before getting blessed life. This one ten. Come on into my tantrums, and then we'll do that. Uh, wait a minute. Now I know that the summons are not going to help me here because they'll just get killed, probably. Come 
on. Oh, of course. I saw that coming as soon as I... As soon as he started spamming that shit, and it was like, oh, you can't fucking... Can't use your fucking tantrum now. <laughs> the hell is this, Bull Prince? Are you, is he just... Okay, does he have, like, some chance to avoid that, or am I just not hitting him? What's going on here? I'm not entirely sure. Well, there I'm hitting him. No. Of course. There. That was the better idea. Run away from him and let him teleport into my tantrums. Holy shit, that's actually a very good roll. Drink that. Also, yay, 20 magic find. Woo, woo. Oh boy. So 40% physical res. Now here's a very good question that I'm going to ask. Do I have... Well, I, mean, I have Servants of Valor, which will help with TA tanking. And they benefit from Bless Life. I will throw that in there. They do benefit from Bless Life. So... I don't know if... I don't know how useful they'll be, because they still... The, um... The... The Ascari... Still do have... The Ascari still do have attacks that can penetrate and bounce to multiple enemies, I believe. So it still might hit me, despite my 10 servants, 100, well, 140,000 defense is not that high in this, in this mod, and 40% fizz res. Also, yeah, I totally went the wrong way. Ooh, rare arrow quiver. Well, it's better than nothing, so... Get in there! Come on! What did I get? Life regen, gold find. Dexterity's nice. Bonus attack rating is meh. Because I'm pumping into dexterity anyway. Um, life steal would be nice if I had a physical bow. But I don't, so... I would prefer... Like, the ideal... The ideal... I'm just getting away. I'm not dealing with that flaming bullshit. Anyway. Now, I might want to back up. Oh, okay. I, I see that arrow side there. I saw that. I might not notice an arrow side one inch away from me with nothing else nearby, but I saw the arrow side among the other arrow side. Among my tantrum. Also, jeez louise, these guys are tanky. By these guys, I mean my servants of valor.
Now the reason why Tantrum is not doing that much damage against... There's two reasons why it's not doing that much damage against Lycander. Here! Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not dealing with 40,000 stacks of Phalanx. One, there's like five other enemies that Tantrum's trying to hit. And two, she keeps running away. Now that I have her backed up into a corner, it's time to time to just decimate her ass. So. Alright, from here, I, I see your arrow side on death. I saw that. At least arrow side doesn't pierce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's F. Oh, it's F2, okay. Belly Pierce. Just. Oh, God! That's a lot of damage. I will say, the freeze from Divine Apparition is really nice right here. Oh, God. Move back, move back. Back, 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 back. Cannot be dying. I'm actually surprised at how well I'm doing here, even though I have all my physical resistance. Oh, yeah, and as soon as I fucking say that. Oh, arrow side! Oh, you were one femtometer inside of arrow side seek range. Die. Which is a load of shit. I was just thinking too. I should probably throw up a portal. Uh 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 uh. uh, uh move back. Nice desync there. Good 
goodbye. I should probably save this Craig's messer just in case. No. Oh, uh, this was a mistake, wasn't it? Oh, I shouldn't have jumped into this. Wait, what? I thought I picked that up. Anyway, Sunstone of Fire goes in my cube. back. I'm not sure why this... I'm not sure why this build is actually as good as it is against TA, even in its rather limited state. I mean, I know Tantrum's a good skill, but... them all. No, my dude. Quit. Quit unmorphing. I almost wish there was a bow that just gave the Super Beast Morph. In other words, it auto-converts you to a Super Beast Morph and you can't get out of it. Because I don't want out of it. Actually, that would be nice for this build, because that way I can save a point. In my skill trees. Destroy all enemies. Neftal. There's that Lum. Ooh, okay. That's a little too risky. I will not risk that. Oh. Scary call, nice. I guess I'll keep. Yeah, that's. Thankfully, this went a lot shorter than the last segment. Now, will I get fucked by RNG? I'm guessing yes. Fuck yeah, actually, I got. I did not get wrecked by RNG. This game actually. This game's RNG actually treated me nice for once. I'm actually Whoa, what was that? Yeah. 
game actually treated me nice for once. I'm honest to God surprised that this game treated me nice for once. Also, I'm holding on to... Actually, you know what? Screw holding on to this. I don't think anyone plays uh, Arcane Sorceress anymore, do they? Oh, well. Well, I don't really have anything else for this segment, so I guess I'll just go back. I guess I'll do a little bit of... I guess I'll do some farming of, uh, well, this area for one, and for two... Just, uh, Legacy of Blood. Now, if I were high enough... Oh, hello. If I were high enough level, I would just try... Athala, the Amazonian goddess. I love that one, like, as soon as his shield drops, it, he's done. L-O-B, let's see what this is. The Defender. Four and five, what do I got? Four and three. Alright, well, throw that away. Oh, actually, no, don't throw that away. Uh, I could use that for trophy farming. Here we go. All right, so I guess I'll just I guess I'll just kill Bartuk a couple times before I get before I end this segment. Obvious, obvious. Uh, making the video longer is obvious. Okay, there are too many, I'm guessing there are too many blood golems around that one, around in that time. Ah, oh, not cool. Hey, perfect roll. Okay, so I no longer have to look at these. Ah. No, I no longer have to look at legacies of blood anymore. Uh... Against my better fucking judgment, I guess I'll try for a 10% all attribute roll of this charm. Against my better judgment, because this place pisses me off so bad. Like, really fucking badly. Ooh, rare arrow quiver. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what have we here, boy? 8% Ky Cairo Beam on striking, huh? Oh, pew pew pew! Pew pew pew, motherfucker! Oh, 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 oh. oh, what a roll! The only bad thing is it doesn't spawn with Tantrum. Pew pew! <laughs> Get that out of my face. Pew pew pew. Ugh! 
that cryo beam. Unfortunately, cryo. Was it? Unfortunately, cryo beam won't do as much damage if I went as if I went down the ritualist path. But unfortunately, I can't go down that path. So, oh well. Also, tainted blood would probably be a better investment anyway, along with Stormlord. Man, that sucks. Like, it sucks that this is gonna be on the top of my. Actually, hold on. I can get rid of that, can't I? Uh, do, 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 do. Is it notification settings? Uh. Is there a way to get rid of that? Uh. I'm just, I don't know what that is. Uh. Is there a way to get rid of that? Yeah. It, let me know if there's a way to get rid of this, because I don't want to have to see this constantly. And there's no way to... Uh, like, if I were to do this, I can't... Yeah, that doesn't work. And I assume standard attacks still lower ammunition. No. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I don't know when they made that change. And that... Give me that. Also, I must say, the... The flat fizz damage reduction is really bad on less life now. It used to be, like, really good, I want to say. Now it's just sort of bleh. I mean, having fizz res is obviously nice, but, uh... So it's like, it's not a big deal that I'm maxing it, because, like, obviously... Oh, hello, what's that? Um, obviously you still max it anyway, but still... The flat physical damage reduction is really bad compared to what it used to be. Go. Okay, hold on, let's see. 19, 170, yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. So can I right click? Oh, okay. What I just did there was I tried right clicking that, see if that would make the thing go away. Oh well. Oh, uh, well. Okay, so... Air Donner. That I accidentally picked up. Oh... Can you leave me alone for a minute, totems, while I do this? Alright, so... Oh, I can actually... Uh... So, this doesn't actually... Okay, it doesn't actually stun enemies. Okay, 
Okay, we, we, we just need to move back. That's all it is. Out of here. I may as well... I may as well get the Idol of Vanity trophy. Since it's very easy since it's very easy to kill. This guy, for whatever reason, is, like, impossible to kill. Don't ask me why he's so fucking hard to kill. Okay, so... I want to kill this fuckface just out of... Fuck! And here I wanted to kill this fuckface just out of principle, because he's a piece of garbage. Oh well, guess not. Uh, I don't know what else I can even do. As far as, like, farming good charms. Actually, I know what I could farm. To obviously stretch this segment to 40 minutes. Let's kill this dude over and over again. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never actually looked at this map. What is this over here? Uh... What is this over here? Is this supposed to... Is this supposed to more resemble the, ar the actual Arcane Sanctuary? Slash the resemble the arcane sanctuary from Diablo 1 that was cut or is this just like is this just essentially well, I would say flavor text but is this basically just flavor is this just a uh, flavor map I guess would be the term for that Pew pew on the creature of flame, by the way. I love the pew pew. Eh, yeah, we'll kill him a few more times. Because I understand the whole point of this for the lore is that, like, Horizon managed to separate the creature from the rest of the 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 maze or whatever and he basically blocked that area off so is that what that's supposed to represent is that what this area here is supposed to represent I guess it is and rip to you Also, in regards for my endgame weapon about a muck being the best choice, um, the only real problem with using a muck, I have two problems. Well, not real. One of them's not really a problem, and that is, one of them is, should I use a physical bow or a short battle bow? In other words, Ellie bow. I'm not actually sure, because, like, normal bows won't have the benefit of, of having a bunch of flat lightning damage, but I don't want to get rid of, I don't want to completely disregard the, the, uh, the lightning pierce that that weapon gives, or that rune ward gives, but if I go with the short battle bow, I also don't want to get rid of the 200% enhanced damage that it provides. And the second and more important problem is that requires a Gur rune, which is the enhanced slash upscaled Gull rune, which I... I'm basically gonna have to farm Slaw's Glen for that. Maybe Faustinville, but... 
Yeah, that's really expensive, though. That's the bigger concern. Out of here. 23. Okay. I'll kill... I'll kill him one more time and then end the segment. Also... And now, one final time, uh, not here. And then, what's my innate Ellie damage? 769. Wait, was it six or five? Five, nine, okay. I'm hoping D2 Resurrected made made fives and sixes more easily more easily recognizable. All right, so let's see. Horizon's focus twenty two. Okay, that's garbage. All right, I have nothing else for this segment other than just repeating shit over and over again, i.e., farming. So. I guess I'll end this segment here, and I will see you guys next time.